Hi there everyone, my name is Justin Davis and I'm actually an ex-pupil from Brumell Foundation School. Um, I left, I'm 25 coming up, so I left in near enough probably eight, nine years ago now. Um, but yeah, I've gone on to have a career as an actor um, and that sort of started while I was at Brumell School. Um, so when I was about 12, I think it was, Natalie Jones, uh, the drama teacher got involved with uh, It's My Shout, a scheme at the BBC Wales um, who were all about giving kids from our neck of the woods uh, a go at acting. Um, so, you know, I didn't really want to do it, but Miss Jones, as most of you will know, um, was like, go on, give it a go, and sort of pushed me up my boundaries a little bit. But um, I've never been more grateful to her, and I think she knows that as well, um, for sort of setting me up on my my sort of acting journey. So from then I did a film for It's My Shout um, and then the casting director of Stella seen it and then decided to ask me to audition for uh, for Stella and the sort of rest is, is history. So i um, done six series of Stella, Christmas specials, I went to drama school, I've done some plays in the last few years um, and really I've, I've got to thank the, the start that I had at Brumell Foundation School for allowing me to, to do that. So I'll always be grateful um, to the staff at the school, Natalie Jones, um, certainly for, for sort of giving me that um, exposure. Um, now I'm just looking at some of the questions here. Um, so how important has reading been to me during my life and career? Reading's been so important. Um, as an actor, I'm reading new plays all the time. Um, and I get really excited about new writing. You know, I've got some books here with me now. Um, you know, and I'm sure some of you will have heard of this guy, William Shakespeare, um, who did King Lear, um, as well as many, many other plays. Um, you know, I've read a lot of his work, but I also like reading new writing as well, new exciting plays that haven't been uh, put on before. Um, and obviously, as a kid, I love reading. And I think that if I didn't have the exposure to books at such a young age, then... I wouldn't have gone down the route of being an actor because I sort of wouldn't have wanted, or I probably wouldn't have felt as creative. Um, so you guys, you know, are, are in a very good position where you are at school, where you've got your very own literary festival. Like, that's insane. That's awesome. Um, and the teachers there have done an amazing job by putting this on. Um, and it's a pleasure for me to be asked to be a part of it um, because I'm so passionate about reading myself. Um, you know, I'm so passionate about others reading as well. I've got little brothers, little sisters, and I want them to read to sort of expand their imagination and, and sort of run wild with that. So the next question that I've been asked is, what are your favourite books, authors, and why? Um, so as a kid, I'm sure a lot of you have heard of this man. His name is Roald Dahl. Um, now, if you haven't, please, I like beg you to go and read some of his books. For me, my favourite book of all time, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. I mean, as a kid, I used to read that most nights before I went to bed. And even if I read it once, that's a book I've probably read through about 15, 20 times. Um, because I absolutely love it. The world of Charlie Bucket and him being this sort of poor, really working class boy who's in his family. But then getting the golden ticket, which is what we all want, I think, in life. That sort of lucky break, that, that little bit of luck that can literally change your life. And then obviously he ends up going to Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory and going on the adventure of a lifetime with his granddad as well. And I think that relationship as well is something that, that gets not mentioned as much is the relationship between a boy and his grandfather, which I had, a, you know, with my grandfather's an absolutely incredible relationship, um, which I can see the comparisons there. Um, so that book in particular for me is one of my all time favourites. And Roald Dahl is an author with his, the, you know, book, um, The Twits, James and the Giant Peach, The Witches, um, even though The Witches used to absolutely terrify me, by the way. Uh, so I won't be reading that again. I've seen the film, actually, in lockdown, and I, I was scared again. It's, it's not for me, those weird witches. Um, but yeah, so for me as well as an actor, um, not do I just read, like, novels and fiction and, and stuff like that. I read plays, as I just said before. Um, so my favourite playwright is... An American writer from New York and his name is Stephen Adley Gurgis and I was very lucky in drama school to be able to do one of Stephen's plays um, and it was just absolutely incredible. His writing is very gritty and fast-paced um, and I just absolutely loved it um, and for him 
he swears quite a lot. Uh, so for you guys, it might not be good to read it now, but certainly when you're older, if you get the chance to read some of his plays, if that's your sort of thing, and if you get the chance to see one of his plays, then then I'm sure you'd have an amazing time. Um, as an actor as well, I do love my William Shakespeare. I do find it very tricky sometimes to understand, but I think the more you read it, which is the pleasure with reading, the more you read it, the more you will understand. Um, and the more you will get to grips with the language, and the language is beautiful. Um, so yeah, those are some of the authors that, that mean a lot to me. So the next question I have here is, has reading a certain book influenced you in any particular way? Um, so again, a lot of you guys will be able to know what I'm talking about here, because I still think it's on the syllabus. So Of Mice and Men by John Steinbeck literally... It didn't, it didn't change my life, but it really sort of in, engaged me in a way that a book hasn't before. Apart from Charlie and Chocolate Factory and books like that when I was younger. But with Of Mice and Men, you know, the, the world that it set up in that sort of um, early 20th century America. The characters, the, the description of the creek and the location and things like that. It really got me engaged in my mind. Um, and I remember doing that at GCSE. And a few people in my class didn't didn't like it and I thought it was boring. But for me, I loved going to English every lesson because I knew we were going to do that. And I found the exam actually quite easy because I was so passionate about the book. Um, and I think I really was able to connect with that book. Um, so Of Mice and Men for me um, is one of the classics. But doing that in school was a blessing really. I'm really glad that we and myself, we got the opportunity to, to do that book. Okay, so the next question I have here is, have you ever thought about writing your own novel? If so, what do you think it would be about? Um, now, I tell you, I, I never actually thought about writing my own novel. Um, well, not that much anyway. But what I have thought about doing is sort of following in the footsteps of uh, a very important person to me, Ruth Jones, uh, who played my mother on Stella, um, and writing my own TV series, or writing a film, or writing a play. Um... Maybe one day I'd write a novel. Uh, who knows? Um, certainly I wouldn't put the idea off um, because I think it's always important to sort of have realisations about yourself and think, actually, you know, one day if I had the idea to write a novel, I'd definitely give it a go. Um, but I do love the idea of, of sort of um, writing a TV show or a film or a play. And I think um, on what it would be about, I got told a great piece of advice once, which was write about what you know as a good base, as a good sort of cornerstone for for, for when you're going to be writing. Um, and, you know, for me, um, I'm from Bramau, just like many of you guys. I'm a Valleys boy. Um, you know, I'm sure you, Valleys boys, Valleys girls, you know, all in the school. Um, and I would like to write about our area, about rugby clubs that we know, about communities and towns and people and, um, and circumstances that, that matter to us in the valleys because I think we have some amazing people around you with some amazing stories uh, to be told and some amazing locations as well um, right on our doorstep so um, that's my dream uh, to one day write a TV series, a film or a play uh, about sort of our area and, and showcase the area in a brilliant light um, which I think it really deserves to be, to be shared in that light um, but yeah, who knows? I could have a novel on the shelf in W. H. Smith's. I, I don't know. Maybe one day. Um, but I think it is important to, to have these ideas and and to sort of dream. You know, I'm sure that you guys have got so many ideas that's in your head that you want to write about or tell people about. Or hang on, what about this? That could work. So write it down on a piece of paper. That's another big bit of advice as well that I got given. Because you're in bed one night and you have this idea and you're like, oh my gosh, brilliant. Right, I'll write it down in the morning. And then by the time the morning comes, it's gone. You've forgotten about it. So as soon as you have that idea, maybe have a little journal or a little notepad that you write all your ideas down in. Um, and get it down and just carry on making that journal and add into it. You might have this idea and you think it's brilliant. And then you actually go, oh, you know what? I'm not that fussed on it. Never mind. That's fine. Come up with more ideas. Write more stuff down in your notepads. Um... But, but yeah, that's my sort of dream when it comes to writing. Okay, the last question that I've got written down here is, our literary festival is called New Horizons. What does this mean to me? Um, so first of all, when I was asked to participate in this festival, um, I immediately said yes. I think it's a fantastic idea. 
Um, and well done to all the staff at Bromau School that has come up with this and has endorsed it and pushed it because I think it is it's a world class idea. Um, bringing a literacy fest, a literary festival to a school, um, I think it's amazing. So well done everyone and congratulations to to you guys at the school, the pupils for being able to take part in it. And I hope you have a lot of fun. Um, for me, the name uh, New Horizons, what I know is about, it fits perfectly. I think with what stage we are at now in the world, um, you know, it's a new start. It's a new beginning. Hopefully we can continue to push on now and we can sort of get back to to our way of life before, obviously, the, the last year and the, the pandemic. Um, and I think New Horizons gives us hope as well for fresh challenges, for fresh ideas, for, for new beginnings. Um, and I think, you know, for you guys, hopefully, you know, you pupils at the, the school listen to this and when I mean it that you know it is never too late if you're in your 11 your 10 or whatever it's never too late to go right I want to start reading I want to start reading I'm reading books all the time regularly at the moment I'm reading um this book which isn't fiction you know it's it's um the reason I jump which is a, uh, a book about a boy with autism um in Japan and finding out you know more about autism and stuff like that and and reading isn't just about you know your imagination even though that's so important um, and I do believe it's really important for you you guys to to really expand your imaginations and let it run wild and free and to be able to create your own worlds and characters. I think that's amazing. But reading also um, allows you to find out so much more about the world and the people on this world as well. And sometimes not even this world, about space, about um, centuries and decades, thousands of years before. Um, and I think this project with New Horizons, it just brings us back to the fact that, you know, it's not too late to, to start something new um, and I think right now is the best time to start something new um, so thank you very much guys for posing those questions to me um, it's been a pleasure talking to you I wish I could have come into school to see you all um, and to see some of the staff because uh, I haven't seen them for quite a while um, but have fun with the festival guys it's a pleasure to have been asked um, and all take care and enjoy thank you <laughs>